Well, good morning, evening, afternoon, everybody, whatever time it is in your area. Uh, today's video, we're going to be doing something I haven't done in a while. Uh, we are going to be doing a cooking video, cooking with Big Mac. And today, um, we're going to try um, a Gorton's breaded uh, fish fillets. Or fish portions, whatever they call it. Alright, go ahead and cue the intro. Alrighty, and like I said, this is cooking with Big Man. I haven't done this in a good while, so here we go. Garden's crunchy breaded fish portions. Let's go over the nutrition's nutrition's facts, uh, shall we? And they'll be over here on the um, on the screen for you. So it's going to be three servings per container. It comes with uh, six portions. Uh, so uh, let's see here. Serving size: two fillets, or one hundred and fourteen grams. Uh, calories, 230 per serving, um, 700 per container, wow. Total fat, 12% per, serve, per serving, 35% for the container. Saturated fat, 5% serving, I'm just going to do the serving size. Uh, trans fat, 0 Cholesterol 20 milligrams, 7 percent. Sodium 560 milligrams at 24 percent. Wow. Um, if I was to do a um, whole container, that would have been 1600 milligrams, more than half of my um, <laughs> sodium intake for the day, but I'm not going to do that. Nope, nope, nope. Total carbohydrates, uh, 10%, 27 grams. Dietary fiber, 1 gram. Uh, total sugars, 3 grams. Added, includes added sugars, uh, which is 1 gram. Protein, uh, 11 grams. Vitamin D, 0 milligrams. Calcium, 14 milligrams, iron, zero, potassium, 180 milligrams. Alrighty, and so as per the cooking instructions, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and preheat the, pre the oven to 425 degrees. We're going to arrange it in on a metal baking sheet. Bake for 17 and 19 minutes. Um, flip after 12 minutes. Uh, let's see. Alright. Well, microwaving is not recommended. So. Alright. Um, to the kitchen. And I'll go ahead and take it out the package. And um, put it in the pan. We'll go ahead and get the pre hut pre oven preheated and we'll be back to the kitchen all right so this will do for a um, baking sheet here and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with the cooking spray here and we'll go ahead and get the oven started Let's see. Oven's preheating at 425. Let's go ahead. Let's 
All right, let's go ahead and open up the little box here. Here's your little fish portions here. I tell you, what, we're gonna do this a different way. We're gonna go ahead and make a fish, um, fried fish sandwich. Go ahead and put them in the um, pan there. And while that's um, while the oven's preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and um, pause the video. And I will be back and when they're out of the oven and done. All right, and we are back. And this is just what it looks like coming out of the fryer here. Uh, kind of stuck to the pan a little bit, even with the uh, grease there. Boom, boom. All right, move this plate, this uh, thing up to the side a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and start to uh, fix our uh, fish. Sandwich here. Now, some people like ketchup, some people like tartar sauce, some people like mayo. Um, I'm one that does not like tartar sauce. Correct me is a little healthy. <laughs> they, well, when they packaged it, it wasn't even cut. So, all right. Boom, boom. That's what happens when you get it on special clearance. All right. So, like I was saying, uh, some people like ketchup. Some people like tartar sauce, some people like pickles with it, cheese. I'm very simple. Now I'm just going to use ketchup. That's just the way I like it. I'm going to go ahead and squirt a little on the bun. Boom. Boom. One fish patty, second fish patty. I'm gonna do a little bit more on top to fish because I like a lot of. I'm a ketchup uh, fanatic here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the uh, chair, and we're gonna go ahead and see what this baby tastes like. Alright, and I am back. The bun's still a little fresh though, and, but I'm going to take a little bite of the fish just by itself with no ketchup or anything on it. It's really good. Um, some people don't like to buy the frozen fish. Um, I can eat I can eat either the frozen fish or fresh fish. I like catfish, tilapia, uh, cod. I even like fish sticks. But um, yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, I don't know. What do you like? You, do you like the frozen kind or? Or not. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bite of it. Mm hmm See the meat in there. And the ketchup. 
Well, you saw me put it together. <laughs> All right, so. There you have it. it is, I mean, it's real simple to do in an um, oven. Um, like I said, they don't recommend it um, in the microwave. They don't even give instructions for the microwave, so there you go. Um, yeah, it's quick. It doesn't take long at all. Comes out really good. Um, I, I would buy this again and again. I mean, that's just me. Some, some people may not like it. Um, but for my rating, for health reasons, on a scale of 1 to 100, for healthy, you know, since there is an awful lot of sodium in it, um, just two fishes, I'm going to give it a solid 89 out of 100. I give it a try. You would, you would, uh, you will not be disappointed. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna try and do some more uh, cooking videos. I don't do a whole lot of them, but uh, I'll do some more in the future. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Hope you all have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all have a good one.